Hello, my fishers in the deep blue sea. My name is Ethan York, and today we got a video that's coming right at you, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about today is my school, so you can already tell this video is going to have plenty of complaining in it. Now, my school decided to take out a decent sum of money and spend it on hiring these people they like to call the tech department. Now, you may be asking yourself, Ethan, why in the world does your school need a tech department? Well, little boy on the internet, let me explain. Because our school is not located in Kenya, we get privileges, and in this case, privileges means expensive things, and these expensive things are called iPads. Now, I've complained many times about our entire school having iPads and how well, the kind of a dingus idea that it was in the first place, but I'm gonna leave that part of the complaining out of this video and just get to the nice juicy meat of this story. Now recently a new software update rolled out to iPads, iPhones, and other things that have the word I in front of it, and because this is all the tech department's job consists of, they decided to send everybody a mass email telling them please don't download this or we'll send you to detention. Because it's the 21st century, and now, going to detention means that you downloaded a software update, because that's the now new definition of bad boy. And once they decided for some reason that that was kind of a ridiculous thing to tell people, they sent out yet another mass email telling people that they were allowed to do it, but if they did do it, to make space, they can't delete any of the stuff the tech department put on your iPad because they don't have time to fix it. Now, let me just sit here and ponder this email for a second. Literally all the tech department has ever done for my school is send out mass emails and get people in trouble for broken iPads. Which part of that, exactly, takes up their whole day to where they don't have time to plug in an iPad and put an app on it. Now, me being a high school student, I have sent plenty of emails, most of them containing homework to ladies that I'm never ever going to smash. But regardless, it takes me about three seconds to send like six emails. How hard can it be to send one email to like I don't know, 400 people? That does not take up your whole day. These people are pay like one time I literally, I had to go into the tech office for some strange reason. I hate relying on them, but somebody was like, hey, you have to go there. So I was like, sure, why not? First off, I roll in the tech office, the two tech people that are in there, one is eating tater tots, which by the way, she came through in the clutch because she gave me her tater tots. But the other one, I told her, her, her my problem on the iPad, and because they're paid tons of money to know this stuff off the top of their head, she Googled a frequently asked questions about the app I was having troubles with and kind of sat there and gave me an uh for a while until she told me to delete it, reinstall it, and then leave her office even though the problem wasn't fixed. So clearly, my tons of money that is going into the school is being spent quite wisely. So congratulations. <laughs> now the next thing I want to talk about today is a friend who recently came through in the clutch by giving me an item that is like the most nostalgic thing you can ever ask for. So recently, his mom was just digging through his garage, minding her own business, when she discovered a box with the title Heelys on it. And he's like, oh snap. He's like, they're really uncomfortable, so I don't really want them. I put my foot in it, and just like Cinderella, it fit perfectly. So he gave me freaking Heelys. Now, I understand that I am 16 years old, and I probably shouldn't be, be enjoying rolling around on what is basically a roller blade all day long, but dude, the frick, man. Those things are so baller, but they even, they get me more ladies than anything else that I've ever done in my entire life has gotten me. We had some fundraising event at our school because in case you couldn't tell, my school definitely doesn't have enough money. And I was like, okay, it's a screw around day. These are probably not allowed in the dress code, but let me wear them anyway, because they're probably not gonna send me home on a three hour school day. I got so many compliments. It was like, my, my ego was just about to explode. And this really hot lady who, to be completely honest, I wasn't exactly sure knew I existed, totally said she loved me, so take that. Moral of the story, if you have wheels on the bottom of your shoes, you're gonna get smashed. Now that's all I have to say for today. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did like it, please like it. If you dislike it, please dislike it. And if you really liked it, oh, add it to your favorites. I will see you guys some other time.